is the situation you found yourself in is that kind of one of the reasons why you wanted to end up why you wanted to be a sports sports writer yeah um it was because i could connect with sports while being um disabled mm -hmm. so moving forward a little bit what's your what's your kind of end end game goal if you had to if you had to pick a dream job what would you be doing um if i had a dream job it would be probably covering uh baseball mm -hmm. with buster only or um being a sideline analyst um for games just to be there in person and to be able to travel at the same time would be fun definitely i think your passion definitely shows in, in your blog i think mo people talk about sports all the time like every bar conversation ever at least somebody talks about sports yeah. but i enjoy reading your your blog or your posts on facebook just because they're, they're so detailed it makes me feel like i'm reading a a legit like not that you're not legit but like a, a <laughs> yeah. big a big name like news outlet um with the detail that you put into it and the time that you put into it uh like watching all the footage like like you were talking about before um and so is there have you kind of figured out a way to to break into that a little bit or are you just is the blog a way to break into that or how how is or do you have a plan i guess i'm not not I'm rambling a little bit, but you kind of have a plan for for how to get there. Um, well, I'm going to see where the wind takes me, as many people, um, especially who will be re-entering the world and job field mm -hmm. um, market um, over these next several months. But um, I I connected with. Um, I've connected with several people in the past years, but uh, where I really connected was with uh, my professor, Charlie Castlery, um, former general manager of the Washington football team. Um, yeah. Um, but he, he was my professor this past summer. Um, really taught me a lot of insightful things. Mm -hmm. um, and he connected me with two other people um, one with the Hawks, the Atlanta Hawks, mm -hmm. and then another with, uh, George Mason athletics. And so through them, I, I'm hoping to connect even more and spread. That's good. That's definitely a good start, especially with the Hawks. So, you know, mm -hmm. like that world is so small once you're in just your two phone calls away from like a Mark Cuban or a, a Steve Kerr or whoever before you know it because everybody seems to know everybody from from somewhere it's a real small it's a real small world soccer is soccer is the same way some of the guys that that I coach with are like two phone calls away from like Ben Olsen who's DC United's head coach mm -hmm. and unfortunately they have not had a great season but that's okay um but yeah the sports world is super small I feel like it's, it's difficult to break in but once you make the right sort of connections um you're kind of not good, but almost mm -hmm. there. It's, the connections are, I don't know if, have you found similar sort of, sort of things? Um, yeah, I found different connections over different sports. Um, like I posted on Instagram, this one issue, I can't even remember it, but it was like Jerry Rice in a, in a fried chicken commercial and how it was racially insensitive. And out of nowhere, he just messages me. <laughs> Jerry Rice messaged you. Yeah. He comments on the photo and I'm like, whoa. And I'm like clicking like, okay, is this really his profile? Um, <laughs> no, but he was like right on. And he was like agreeing with me. So that was nice. Um, and so I get like that. And then at the same time, I've got like um, – a couple of years ago, I had, I got my wish granted as a make a wish kid um, and was GM of the Phillies for a day where I met Ruben Amaro Jr. and got to shadow what he does. Well, what he did on a day to day um, level. And so that was I remember really that. cool. You, you posted about that on 
uh, Facebook, I think, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing something about that. I, I knew as soon when I saw that post, I was like, that was probably the happiest day. Yeah, it was one. So what what did he kind of get to? What what was that day like when when you did it? Because Make a Wish is through ESPN, um, and so did they did they get in contact with you and say like, yeah, we picked you, and then and then kind of how does that work? So they send out um, what are called wish granters. Mm-hmm. So a doc a doctor referred me, um, and so after years they finally accepted it um, because it's. They really, it's a great charity, um, but at the same time, there's tons of kids who deserve it. Sure. Um, but after years, um, the wish granters reached out to me and were like, hey, we're ready to grant a wish. And so that was cool. Um, and so I had to start thinking of ideas like, hey, do I want to go to the Super Bowl? But as I thought of ideas, there's also um, problems because like, there's certain events where you can, can't get into or for a certain amount of time. So like I'd wanted to go to the Super Bowl or be like sidelined to the uh, NBA all-star game, mm-hmm. but that wasn't for like four years. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I can't do that <laughs> because by the time I do it, I'm t- over 21 and uh, that's their age limit. Right. Um, and so I decided, hey, um, I really like the Phillies. Um, I really like managing and putting together teams. And so I was like, GM. So I was like, I want to be the GM for a day. And so they made it happen. And it was a really cool experience. Um, I got to see all the big boards in uh Mara Jr.'s office. Um at that time it was it was leading up to the draft. Mm-hmm. Um That's they were looking exciting at, time for you. Yeah, there were tons of names. Um and then also I got to bring my sisters and my family. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. Um and I got to choose out like which camera do you use? Do you use the kiss cam next? Do we use the, (laughs) do we use the seventies cam? And so that was a unique experience. When you were in the room with the draft board, had you, had you already started doing your, um, your blog by then? Um, yeah. So I had started my blog in 2014 and you went it's 16 or 17 it's all blur (laughs) (laughs) did you have did you recognize the names on the board were you like hey i know that guy i've watched some of his games i recognized about two really um i wasn't i wasn't as big as i am into an uh analysis analyzing um and really doing draft profiles of every prospect Mm. because i was gonna say if you did that now, you'd be like, hey, you should draft this guy because I know all about him. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, you're good. Um, that's awesome. That must have been a great day. Probably if I was in – if I had to do – pick something like that, I would probably pick a, a similar sort of thing except for soccer. Mm-hmm. Um, so, hmm. And then they finished off with the game and then you got to pick the cameras and stuff. That's cool. You could probably have some funny experiences, funny stories to tell. Like, hey, you should put the kiss cam here. Were you able to tell them where to put it or just which one? Yeah. You were? No, just which one. Nah, you could have found some like yeah. awkward looking people and like put it there. No, I I, I the awkward kiss cams. <laughs> That's funny. 